So, 24 hours, one night, after hell, in a cell. Uh, WWE came out with, of course, Monday Night Raw. And overall, I think Monday Night Raw was not really a good show. You know, to me, it was kind of eh. I didn't really enjoy it that much. I enjoyed the ending, but, you know, I'll get to that later on. But first off, uh, let's start off, which actually, there was no promo. You know, I actually thought Triple H was going to come out there, cut a promo, blah, blah, blah. No. We had a match. We had a match. Randy Orton, the Viper, versus, I guess you could say the former chosen one, Drew McIntyre. And, um... I honestly thought when they came to the ring, I was like, alright, is this going to be like freaking Heat Slater and Randy Orton all over again about a month ago when Randy Orton beat the living hell out of Heat Slater in like, I don't know, a minute? No, it lasted longer than a minute. It was like five minutes long. Uh, you know, but, you know, it was an okay match, I guess. Uh, Randy Orton hits the RKO, one, two, three, Orton beats Drew McIntyre. So then we have the matches over, we have Mark Henry coming to the ring. And uh, Mark Henry and Randy Orton, they get in a little brawl, whatever. Uh... Mark Henry ends up in the freaking uh, seats, you know, falls over the barricade, and uh, the referees try to, you know, break them up and everything. So then, Mark Henry has a match right then and there. Who? And by the way, guess who is returning this Friday night on SmackDown? Well, it's the Big Show. That's right, the Big Show is returning on Friday night SmackDown, and he's probably going to be facing Mark Henry since Mark Henry is the one that took him out. And remember, all the way back in Money in the Bank. So anyway, uh, Mark Henry was in the ring, and he took on the man who took on Cody Rhodes for the IC title last night, John Morrison. So, uh, you know, they had the little match, whatever. It was only about, like, two or three minutes long. You know, Mark Henry tried to hit the World's Strongest Slam. Morrison out of the way. Then about a minute later, Henry hits the World's Strongest Slam. One, two, three. Your winner. Uh, for, yes, the Tigers with the Yankees. I'm sorry. But, um, the... Mark Henry won. So, yeah, Mark Henry beats. And it was a non title match, so. And then afterwards, Mark Henry cut a promo. Um, you know, I forget who he's cutting the promo against, though. It was either Orton or Big Show. I think it was Big Show, but anyway. Then we had the Divas title match. We had a tag team Divas match between Natalia and Beth Phoenix versus E. Torres and Kelly Kelly. The match itself didn't really much happen. What I mean by this is right when the bell rang. Kelly Kelly went freaking Randy Orton on freaking Beth Phoenix. Like, seriously, she went all psycho. Like, you know, people complaining about, oh, Kelly Kelly keeps on screaming. Like, I know Mitch from the Wrestling Guru said she was screaming like freaking softcore porn last night. But seriously, she was just like screaming like freaking crazy. She was just bashing her head in. And then she just freaking just went nuts on the announce table. And Natalia was fighting with E. But, you know, Beth Phoenix is trying to throw off Kelly Kelly. And then, you know, that was it. It went like three minutes long. But, yeah. Okay, you know, it's something different in this little feud thing, you know. Now it's probably going to be Kelly Kelly cashing in her rematch clause against Beth Phoenix for the uh, Divas title at Vengeance. So then we had a... Uh, then we had an interesting part. We had the return. Actually, no, wait. Before we get this. Early in the night, we had, uh, we had a little promo segment between... It was David Otunga, uh, Vicky Guerrero... Jack Swagger, Dolph Ziggler, Cody Rhodes, and Christian. And what I liked about this uh, segment here, every person had their saying in it. It wasn't just one person speaks, and on Brother Real too. And it wasn't just, you know, like one person just, you know, talking, blah, 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 for the whole group. Everybody had their word of saying. And I thought that was a pretty good idea from ZDV. You know, you got to hear from Ziggler and guys like that, what they feel. By the way, you know, I thought, um, you know, David Otunga's new gimmick of being a lawyer, I thought that meant he's not going to be in the ring. He ends up in the ring. So he's a Harvard freaking graduate, whatever, law degree. He's married to Jennifer Hudson, and, uh, yeah. All right. So then we had, uh, we had, uh, Jinder Mahal. He was kind of like a promo for, like, five seconds. Then all of a sudden, we had the return of Santino Morada. So we have Santino Morada and his Cobra. His Cobra decided to attack Jinder Mahal and beat Jinder Mahal in 60 seconds to win the match. Yes, Santino Morada. In all seriousness, it was kind of good to see Santino Morada. What I mean by that, it was good to see Santino Morada. The guy was in a car accident about a month ago, so it's good to see the guy healthy and alive. So, 
And last but not least, the main event, the huge 12-man tag match. CM Punk, John Cena, Mason Ryan, Evan Bourne, Kofi Kingston, Sheamus versus Padreo, Dolph Ziggler, Zach Thwagger, Christian, Cody Rhodes, and the law degree firm himself, David Otonga. And, you know, the match itself was actually pretty good. To me, it was, to me, it was a match of the night. It was a really good match. Uh, you know, face team one. CM Punk, Cena, Mason Ryan, Evan Bourne, Kofi Kingston, Sheamus. You know, it was just, you know, every every guy, both heel and the face team kind of got their, you know, how to say this? They got their time in the match. So it was good to see that. And last but not least, you know, it was advertiser of the night. Triple H coming out there, cutting a promo in front of everybody. Everybody, the divas, you know, the superstars, of course, themselves. Uh, Jerry the King Lawler, you know, even the announcers and stuff were just surrounding the ring. And Triple H was trying to find his vote of confidence. He was trying to look for his vote of confidence. And he was saying that, you know, that he does, he is a little bit of old school. He does like fights and stuff. He does like confidential and blah, blah, blah. So then we have, uh, you know, we had Wade Barrett saying, well, I have a complaint. I don't feel safe here. It's just chaos. It's all your fault, blah, blah, blah. And Triple H said, oh, look, everybody. It's the same Wade Barrett who a year ago... Uh, had his team of the Nexus came out and beat up everybody and started to destroy Monday Night Raw. And then we had uh, Christian coming out saying that uh, he wants, you know, a vote of the, his fellow colleagues and stuff and saying that, you know, Triple H is bad, whatever. Then we had Beth Phoenix. I'm surprised I had Beth Phoenix on the mic. Now, here's the problem I had. Beth Phoenix is the, probably one of the strongest and, like, you know, biggest, you know, diva. And I'm not fat. I just mean, like, my muscle, uh, you know, diva. And she's all worried about protection. Wouldn't you be asking that question to, like... Wouldn't that question be asked by, like, Rose Mendez, Kelly Kelly, uh, the Bella Twins? You know, someone in that nature, you know? Unless karma's coming, like, tomorrow, we don't know about it. But anyway, uh, so... But I thought it was cool that she got a little bit of mic time. Uh, then we had, uh, Jerry the King Lawler saying that he's worked there for several years and stuff. And, you know, he just doesn't feel safe. And Mike Kyoto, you know, was just, like... And he's, like, he's me and the referees. You know, you fired Miz and our truth but, you know, uh, Ricardo Rodriguez put her hands on us and, you know, he didn't do anything. And Triple H is like, I fired Miz and R-Truth. What more do you want me to do? And by the way, they also mentioned that uh, the Miz and R-Truth, they made a video on W.com, YouTube, and I believe he even tweeted on Twitter saying that he was sorry. So I like how the social media thing is getting into the storyline. But anyway, uh, so apparently Christian and his colleagues uh, vote no confidence. Beth Phoenix and the rest of the Divas, no confidence. The face team, you know, being like, you know, wait, uh, who else? Freaking, basically just walked off. And then Wade Barrett said, no confidence. Jerry the King Lawler said, no confidence. And next thing you know, we have, you know, the heels kind of just leaving, you know, Christian and all of them. Then we have uh, the Divas leaving, you know, Beth Phoenix and everyone. Then we got, you know, surprise me, Zack Ryder, Evan Bourne, guys like that leaving. Jerry the King Lawler walked off. Uh, Michael Cole walked off. And you had Booker T walking off. You had the camera guys walking off. Then you had Justin Roberts walking off. And last but not least, J uh, good old JR walked off. So, and then John Leonidas literally came out for about three seconds, shook his head, and then just left. Yeah, John Leonidas, he has confidence in Triple H. No, he doesn't. But, um, anyway, so that was it for Monday Night Raw. And it wasn't really much of anything, just... You know, I just, I just found the ending kind of pretty good. It was something we haven't seen in a while. You know, Triple H wants to kind of give like a little survey type of deal. Of, you know, how he thinks he's doing, in the, you know, as the COO and obviously the superstars and even, you know, the referees who also love to, you know, the announcers and, you know, the crew, whatever. They just, they don't just feel confident in Triple H. that They feel safe and everything with the Miz and our truth just, just coming in there and just, you know, raising hell basically. So, you know, I wonder what you guys thought of Monday Night Raw. I know some of you guys probably got like, oh, this Raw sucked. How are you reviewing it? You know, I just, just want to get my little thoughts on it and stuff. So, you know, it should be interesting to see what happens next week. And uh, remember, the big show returns. It's Friday Night Smackdown. Well, yeah. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Peace, my Phoenix Hollis. I'll subscribe now. Just peace. <laughs>